guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here, and I've got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Now, I'm probably not going to be making a series out of this, because let's be honest with each other, guys. It's not like this game is really in high demand right now. Not like people are searching this quite a bit, but this is one of those games that's like near and dear to my heart. So even though it's not the newest game anymore, it's still fun for me to play, because I'm actually borrowing uh, or holding on to this game from... Uh, Gus, you guys have probably heard me talk about Gus. We uh, were roommates, and we used to play this game all the time. And the strategies that we used were so different from each other, but it was a ton of fun because it was so different. Like, here he was all decked out in some of the most, uh, most toughest armor. So it's big, bulky, and he's running around with a raging bull, which is like a magnum six-shot uh, handgun. And... Here I am rolling around with a you know, pair of uh, blue cargo pants that look like jeans, a white tank top, a boonie cap, a uh, face mask, like a, a ski mask, and aviators. And I'm running around with the heavy weapons. So it was super cool. Um, we beat the game on realistic like that too, which blows my mind that we were able to do that. But I guess uh, something I'm kind of proud of. Not like I'm going to put that on there as, as things to celebrate over the course of my life here, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool that we were able to do that. And I'm playing on realistic mode on this one here, which means just a couple shots and I will be dead. So this will get pretty interesting. Now, this is mission number one. So this is helpful for me just to be able to go back and relearn the game. Uh, just getting everything down because, like, sensitivity is a little bit different. Um, you know, the buttons to... You know, throw a grenade versus, you know, switching weapons, things like that. It's very different. So, even though I used to play this a ton, I still, still need to relearn it here. So, apologize if you guys aren't too excited about this here. But, you know, like I said, I, I really wanted to play it. And I was just like, you know what, if I'm going to be playing a game, I might as well go ahead and put it on YouTube as well. What could it hurt? Gives me a chance to keep going with the commentaries trying some things out here because honestly um, part of the reason I'm also playing this is I'm kind of getting prepped for uh, the games that I pre-ordered those of you who follow me on Facebook Twitter you guys kind of already heard I've gone ahead and basically pre-ordered every single game that I'm gonna be getting for the rest of the year going ahead and getting Medal of Honor which I'm excited about that one uh, also too because you get access to the Battlefield 4 beta which really, really excites me. Um, I did get Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That's going to be fun. And Halo 4. And Assassin's Creed 3. Now, how many of those games I'm going to be putting on YouTube, I really don't know. Because the thing is, is i got to strike a good balance. Because, one, I really haven't had a good balance lately with uh, all the games I've been playing here. Oh, crap. Of course I open the door right when the flashbang goes off. But I still get the kill. So that's what's cool. Efficiency by not being efficient. I don't know. Uh, so I was, I, I was sitting and thinking the other day. I'm like, I just do all sports games right now. That's not necessarily what I had anticipated when I started doing the channel. And I wanted to go through, and I, I did want to play some first-person shooters because, uh, you know, I, I do play them. I, I enjoy playing them too. I mean, there's a big challenge that kind of goes with it. Great stress reliever, things like that. Um, which is why. Now, that was going to be a big thing for me with the channel, but it really didn't turn out too well because I kind of got into it late in the game, and uh, Black Ops wasn't, you know, well, I guess it was out then, but uh, I wasn't really doing commentaries at that point. So I would just play every now and then, and I was a very, very small commentator there, and I still consider myself a small commentator, but, um, you know, I'd just get like 100 views or something like that on my uh, Black Ops gameplay. So just like, uh, you know, here I am getting more views on baseball than I am Call of Duty. So I got to invest my time wisely. So let's just do baseball. Which I'm fine with. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I love baseball. So you know, I was okay with it here. But I want to get back into it because I really haven't played a shooter for a while. So we'll see, though, how it works out because Assassin's Creed, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I don't want to get to the point, though, here where I'm playing all these games that I'm pre-ordering and forget to play, you know, 
MLB, NBA, FIFA, all of this. I'm going to have a lot of games on my plate. And I am kind of worried about it, too, because it's like I got to find the balance, and I don't want to overload myself, too. You know, having all these different games, I, I edit videos differently. You know, I got to have the audio at certain levels and stuff like that. I just don't want to overwhelm myself on anything. So we'll kind of see how it plays out. I know you guys are super, super cool with everything. So I know you guys will give me feedback. You guys will be patient with me and things like that. But, man, I am so, so stoked for this here. So just playing this game is already getting me excited about, about it here. Now, I, I've always been a big fan of Tom Clancy. If you ask me who my favorite author is, I will tell you Tom Clancy. Uh, I first got introduced to Tom Clancy, though, through video games. Like the very, very first Rainbow Six game that came out. Um, it did come out on the Nintendo 64 and also the first PlayStation, but I played it on PC first. And I loved the way that the game played because there was so much more strategy that you had to uh, consider here and, and utilize in the game than anything else I had ever played before. Sure, I'd played shooters uh, and everything here, but how it would work on the original Rainbow Six is before the mission started, you could see the map in 3D. On me. And you could put in waypoints and things like that for not only your team, but you also had another team. Uh, you could actually split it up however you wanted. Uh, that was, you know, the computer. And when the computer would get to a certain place following the waypoints that you set, you'd go ahead and, you know, give them a command. Uh, you know, like say execute alpha or something like that. And then depending on how you plan the mission at the beginning... You know, they go ahead and do whatever you say. So, like, they'll hold position until you tell them to move. So that way you guys can attack a room at the same time. Or, uh, you know, go ahead and open fire at a particular moment. Just a lot of things that you could do. And it was super, super cool. I used to play it all the time. And then Rogue Spear came out. That was a really, really fun game. Because it was the first time that they had introduced, like, Terrorist Hunt. Where it's on the map. There's just a whole bunch of... Uh, you know, NPCs, just bots, basically. And the whole point was just to wipe them out. So there's this one mission that I absolutely loved, because I would, uh, I think it was in, like, Serbia or somewhere in Eastern Europe. And I would go ahead, and I'd get in, in the top of a bell tower on a church, and I would just sit there with the sniper and destroy everybody. It was just so cool. Regroup. So games like that I've absolutely loved. And then it was after the games that I decided to read the books, like... Uh, the first one that I read was, it was Rainbow Six, actually, now that I think about it. Everything clear so far. Which is a great game, or a great book. Six was right I love you. that book. So far, and then I've gone crazy. ahead and read Clear and I Present concern. Danger, and I've got a few other ones here. I haven't read the newest one lately, because I heard he just helped out with it, but he got his name on there. But, I don't know, like, the whole Jack Ryan stuff, I've always thought is super cool. Some of the movies weren't necessarily the greatest and kind of went away from the books, but that's all right. I still enjoyed them, too. Like, some of all fears, um, yeah, it wasn't the greatest, but I still enjoyed it. Come on, Dunbar, throw a grenade. Which button is it? Oh, there we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. I totally forgot how to throw the grenade. Now I got them out of the way. And I'm supposed to be silent right now, but yet here I am throwing grenades. Oh, well. All right, so this is going to kind of get us to the main part of the storyline here. So kind of got just about everything out of the way here on, on learning stuff. So going up here, what you're going to see uh, besides a door that is rigged to explode if I touch it uh, is there's a hostage situation going on right now. And what we're going to do is we're supposed to meet with uh, another team. And then we'll go ahead and engage the enemies all at once, just as kind of a surprise. There's a negotiator in there right now who really is not there to negotiate anything at all, but to make sure that uh, they don't go anywhere and to make them think that I am not trying to kill them. So I am the uh, instructor for the Rainbow Six team. And I've got a recruit with me here and another experienced person with me as well so we're just hanging out right now watching this negotiators trying to tell them they're the good guys they're in power so they shouldn't kill the hostages 
and my team decides to open fire. How cool is that? So that totally didn't go the way that I was expecting it to. Oh, man. So, you know what? Oh, hey, hostages. That's a smart call. Run up the same stairs that I'm trying to shoot down. Ooh. Gotta be careful about this. Why are they just hanging out there? I gotta move them over. I don't want to be grouped up here because, one, if I can get a better angle on... Ah, dang it. If they can get a better angle on what's going on here, they may be able to kill some guys that I'm not going to be able to kill. So since they're still just hanging out, let's see if I move them down a little bit more, if they'll actually get up and start doing something. Uh, apparently not. So you know what, guys? You're going to get right in the middle of the action. Dang it. Railing's right in the way. So I'm just going to go with some blind fire right now. <laughs> hey, I got the other guy earlier with some blind fire. Why not him? Why are they not going anywhere? There you go. Get down there. All right. So they take him out. All right. I'm, I'm clear to move a little bit. Now these guys are back under some cover. Gosh. Now I am loaded out here with uh, the most amount of protection I can get here from an armor standpoint so it reduces my mobility and everything but uh, protects me from more bullets get over here all right so we got out of that one here okay nothing's really down there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get to these crates which allows me to you know, get more ammo and just reload on everything get another grenade and stuff so all right Got that done, out of the way here now, and we are outside the door. And this is really tough, because here we are out in the open. And they know that we're here, so I'm not gonna worry about suppression or anything like that. If they wanna come after me, they're more than welcome to. Now the game, you gotta strike a pretty good balance between being on the attack and kind of also defending a little bit too. So it's one of those games, especially on realistic, you cannot run and gun. I could just go through the whole place here, but gosh, got him sniper up there go, go, go. now I've got uh, you guys have already seen them here I've got a couple guys on my team as well who I can issue commands to for them to do certain things so allows me to kind of think with uh, a more tactical mindset here and using some more strategy about where to position them versus where I'm at here to get uh, maybe some different angles on the enemy it's like right now I've got them Kind of covering the building. These guys are at a distance, and I've really got the only sniper right now, so it's going to be good for me. There we go. Time to reload. So they're still at a distance here. They're going to have a hard time hitting me. Look at that. That's skill. Just popping up with a sniper. Just shooting someone. Ooh, that guy ducked right at the right time, but... I can see enough of your head to get the kill. Gosh, do these guys ever stop coming at me? Ah, dang it. That took three shots. That was my worst one, but apparently I got the kill through cover. All right. Now that we've got that taken care of here, I'm going to go ahead and clear that building. I'm always worried about people just coming out of nowhere, attacking me from behind. So I always clear out this building. Now, of course, this is not going to be easy. It's not like the game is going to make clear in this building a piece of cake. So uh, the big perk, of course, of having the computer uh, on your team as well is they're a lot more accurate, and they can respond a lot easier to some things. So, yep. Prepare for entry. Killed him. There he was just chilling with a shotgun behind some... I don't even know what that is, but whatever. Fact is, we made through to live. All right, so now that we've got this building cleared, this is going to open up uh, to the part where you saw all those other guys were that I ended up you know, shooting with the sniper here. And you can see on the top of this building, there's a couple snipers up there too. So I'll go ahead and I'll mark those for the computer. And I'm going to hang back here a little bit with my sniper. Once they open the door and clear, I'm going to go ahead and shoot them, but... Whoa, that was a good shot. I kick open the door, and they're able to hit me. Go, go. All right. So I think we're good now. 
Don't have to worry about anything. We're just gonna make it over there. Where did that guy come from? Where is he anyway? Nope, you guys are not falling back. I'm making sure you guys stay up there. All right, I guess we got him. Sweet. All right, don't know where he came from. All right, now up here is going to be a few guys. Now, they're just hanging out in there, talking about how they don't hear anything. Oh, thanks for the compliment right there. Here I am sneaking around. And they're the ones who tell me I'm doing a good job of it. Where are my guys? I told you to stack up on the door. Not that door. Not that door. Go. Go. Mm, go. Back on me. Go. This is one of those things where it is kind of tough having uh, the computer on your team. Because some stupid stuff happens. It's just like, my gosh, if you're a real person. I'd probably be yelling at you right now. All right, so they're going to go ahead and head over there. I'm going to peek around the corner here. Oh, shoot. I forgot they had that machine gun. All right, so they're going to flashbang that room. I'm going to go ahead and shoot into it here, distract him a little bit. and Gosh, hurt my hearing right there. Room's cleared. That door opens up to where that machine gunner was. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to distract them a little bit here, too. But let me just double check and make sure that it does open up. Yeah, it looks like he's aiming right at me, too. So opening that door is not going to be a smart call. You are weapons free. All right. Now, there we go. Weapons free is a lot nicer because instead of flashbangs, I've got grenades. Instead of smoke, I got breaches here to, or explosives to breach doorways. So, ooh, got him with the blind fire. The grenade kills the guy with the machine gunner. And that is how it goes. Over here. We're rocking it. All right, so we're just about to the last major engagement here of the map. Here I am just getting some info. I don't really care right now. I always check snake cam. All right, so... Let me get my guys in here. I gotta get them to a good position. So I'm gonna get them right at the end there. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this position right here. Overlooking that main doorway. So one kill crap. That totally impairs my vision, but oh I guess it kinda cleared out right there. So I'm gonna make sure nobody goes through that door. And then my other guys here will cover the main part of the map. Reloading though, hopefully nobody comes out. Ah, uh, that's some good timing. Ah, uh, I didn't kill him though. My teammates got him. All right, so I don't think anybody else is coming out of that door here. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get a good shot on some of the guys that are over there. But now that it's quiet, not gonna worry about it. Time to get the guys to move out here and I'll be following along right behind them. Yes, I send the computer out first. Because if one of them gets hit, I can revive them. If I get hit, I'm dead. Mission over. So, of course, my team is expendable, and I'm going to be sending them first. So, I don't know where that guy with the shotgun is, but they're going to go ahead and charge in. And they clear that out with no problem. That's why I love having the computer on my side, too. All right, just about there. Now there's a bomb in here that we have to defuse. I'm going to run past them. Smart call. Now, hmm. I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw a grenade. You know what? Let's just do that. Of course, I get hit right as I throw. And I get them both. Style points right there. That was a good grenade toss. All right, so... While this is taking place, I'm going to go ahead and have him disarm the bomb. And I'm going to hang back here since I know I'm going to get ambushed. But anyway, um, after that here, the I guess the mission here is going to be done. And so will be the video. So 
I just want to tell you guys thank you now for watching this. Hey, if you really want me to keep playing this, I will because this is a lot of fun and it'll kind of get me prepped a little bit for uh, first-person shooters I'll be playing a little bit later. So, hey, if this is your first video, subscribe, you guys. I'd really appreciate it. You guys know you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, so check the description below. I'll let you know how you find all that stuff here. So, mission over. We end up with the win. Or I guess a victory. Or I passed the mission. I don't know how I'd call it. But anyway, again, thanks you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good one.